Hey, welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. On the menu for you today, I have a product review. The product in question is Creative's Sound Blaster X Katana Multi Channel Gaming Soundbar. Now, full disclaimer this is not a budget offering. Creative have designed this to be the ultimate soundbar, and they claim that the Katana is in a league of its own, delivering under monitor audio that's unmatched by other so called gaming soundbars. Let me just say right off the bat that their claims would want to hold true as the Katana costs a cool $310 US and while it's yet to go on sale down under, I expect it to retail for almost $500 Aussie. That's more than Logitech's flagship Z906 5.1 THX surround system. Granted, they are two different products, but still. Hell, Razer's Leviathan gaming soundbar costs just $200 US, or surprisingly $220 Aussie, though admittedly it does look to be an inferior product, at least on paper. Creative has certainly set the bar, no pun intended, very high with their pricing. So what makes the Katana worthy of such an asking price? Right away you get the impression this is an expensive product. The design looks and feels great and I have to admit the soundbar itself is much more compact than I was expecting. The bar measures just 600mm long, 79mm wide and 60mm tall. It also weighs a relatively light 1.5 kilograms. Creative says that the bar is powered and enhanced by their award-winning multi-core audio DSP, making it the world's first true under-monitor audio system. So what we have here are four speakers within the soundbar, along with a standalone subwoofer, which we will get to shortly. Situated on the top of the soundbar at either end are two 2.5-inch upward-firing mid-bass drivers designed to pump out clean, transparent mid-range dynamic mid-bass. Creative believes by directing the audio upwards, this provides a wider sound stage that doesn't require the listener to be situated in the audio sweet spot. Then we have two 1.3 inch high extrusion tweeters, which face forwards and are found at each end of the soundbar. I don't believe Creative gives individual ratings per speaker, but they do say that the total package delivers 75 watt RMS or 150 watt peak power, thanks to their tri-amplified design. With the tri-amplified design, the amplifiers are controlled by a Creative's multi-core digital signal processor or DSP. There are two dedicated driving the 2.5 inch mid speakers, another two dedicated to deliver the high frequencies for those 1.3 inch speakers, and one dedicated to churn out heart thumping bass for that standalone subwoofer. Speaking of the subwoofer, this compact unit measures just 333mm tall, 299mm deep and 130mm wide. It tips the scales at a reasonable hefty 4 kilos, especially considering that it's not a self-powered unit. Inside you will find a long throw 5.25 inch driver featuring super stiff paper cone and low loss surround. Finally the driver is housed in an MDF box with a flared port tube. Moving on, Katana impressively also doubles as a sound card when connected to a PC using the micro USB interface. In this mode, it also supports virtual 7.1 channel audio to deliver a more realistic gaming experience. Speaking of connectivity, around the back tucked away is another USB port, a Type A port, and this can be used to connect a USB flash drive containing your favourite songs to be played directly by the Katana soundbar. There is also an optical input along with an analog mic in and auxiliary inputs, as well as a headset output jack. Of course, the soundbar is also crucially Bluetooth compliant and implements version 4.2 support. Up top, we find five buttons, two of which feature LED backlit activity lights. The first of which is the power slash Bluetooth pairing button. Then we have the volume down button, volume up and source button. Finally, the last button, which also features LED lighting is the SBX button. Therefore, considerably more buttons are found on the supplied infrared remote control. I won't go over all of them, they are fairly self-explanatory, so I'll just include some nice B-roll. Okay, so at this point you might have noticed the Sound Blaster X Katana employs a few RGB LED lights, 49 in fact. These programmable LED lights line the underside of the soundbar and provide a cool ambient lighting effect. The lights can also be controlled via the remote or using Creative's impressive Sound Blaster Connect software. Now please note the software isn't required to use Katana, but I recommend PC users install the Sound Blaster Connect software to enable better customization of audio profiles, LED lighting effects, microphone noise and voice processing effects. There is also an 8 character LED display front and center on the unit and this can display useful information such as the volume level. It can also be programmed to show the user's name or anything else as long as it's 8 characters or less. Finally, the software allows users to optimise their equaliser settings as well as Creative's own acoustic engine. 
Okay, so sound quality is highly subjective, but I would like to meet the person that hears the Sound Blaster X Katana and claims that this sound bar is anything but amazing, particularly given its compact size. My buddy Brian over at Tech Yes City hasn't stopped talking this thing up to me since he reviewed it, and honestly, given the price, I wasn't really that interested. However, now having tested it for myself firsthand, I've gotta say, even at $300, it's now very, very tempting. 75 watts RMS is a lot of power and the Katana makes the most of it. Max volume is very loud and the speaker still sounds crisp and clear. The bass is also surprisingly punchy from that five and a quarter inch long throw driver. Something that really surprised me was how wide the soundstage seems. For a 600 millimeter long speaker, the Katana gives the impression of being a much wider speaker. The virtual surround channel effect was pretty amazing as well. There was also a very distinct difference between the front and rear channels. Still, as impressed with Katana as I was, I'm not trying to suggest that it offers a better or even as good sound experience as a dedicated 5.1 speaker setup such as Logitech's Z906. However, for such a compact system, I've never heard anything as good as Creative Sound Blaster X Katana. Even though someone always asks, I'm not going to try and show you guys what the speaker sounds like. Uh, recording the speaker using my mic, then compressing that audio, uploading it to YouTube, and then having you play it back through whatever speakers or audio device you have, uh, that doesn't seem particularly useful or accurate, so let's just skip that step. Right, so now that I'm nearing the end of my review, I've been trying to work out what, if anything, I don't like about Creative Sound Blaster X Katana. I guess given the price, NFC support would have been nice, and a HDMI pass-through would have opened up a few more options as well. Perhaps even a USB 3 hub would have been cool, since it sits directly under your monitor. The ability to connect flash drives here or charge your phone would have been a really nice option. Short of that, I couldn't really come up with anything else. Of course, there is that steep asking price, but given the quality and what is on offer here, it's hard to fault creative. That said, I feel around 250 US might be a more appropriate price given the competition in this market segment. And the good news here, given how these things usually go, I expect over the next few months that Katana will eventually hit that price on sale. Anyway, for now, I think the Sound Blaster X Katana is going to replace my main desktop system. I just love how compact this thing is, and of course, that audio quality. What do you guys think? Is it something you have to hear firsthand? I mean, it's a speaker, so yeah, it kind of goes without saying. Brian didn't have me fully convinced that it was worth the asking price, but having now tested it, I take it back, Brian. You are right. Anyway, guys, I'm your host, Steve. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I hope to catch you on the next one.